What's up traders, this is VTrades and today I will be doing a technical analysis breakdown for the Spider S&P 500 ETF Trust with the ticker symbol SPY. I will first be going over what I see on the daily chart and finish the video off with the weekly chart. So the Spider continues to push up higher and higher ever since it had a bottom back here in October uh, 27th of last year. And you see that it's moving up higher at the same angle. So you see that we could draw like a nice channel for this uh, inclined price action. It looks like it's more a little slanted, something like this. So if you connect the swings on the top and bottom, this fits pretty good. Either way, you can see the price is you know moving up higher day after day, week after week. EMA is pointing up. Uh, so this is a bullish looking chart. So since it wants to continue push up higher, uh, where is it going? Well, let's go mark the previous all-time high, which is back over here, uh, so the, the 479. So price was able to push through that and it's making a higher high now. So if it continues to push up higher, I'm looking for the 520 level. And how did I come up with that number? Well, this was the previous size leg over here. So in the past, if this was the previous size leg, there's a good expectation or the expectation is to see a similar size leg in the future. And that would take price right to the 519, 520 level. And you can see that it hasn't pulled back uh, strongly uh, yet. So that could be the level where we see price stall out, at least temporarily, you know, something like that. Uh, or we see, you know, a decent size pullback to retest that prior high before continuing higher. So something like that. Either way, I don't expect price to continue moving at this angle uh, for, you know, several more months. Uh, just it's not likely. Can it occur? It can. Um, it did occur very similarly back here in 2020 where prices continue to push up higher and higher and through 2021. Uh, but I'm expecting a pullback. We're going to have small micro pullbacks like we had in this green channel, but I'm expecting a more macro pullback coming up soon because that measurement target is a very large measurement target that is, is about to be met. So there's a good chance to see a pullback. Uh, just like, for example, right over here. So this is also two legs up right over here. So you can see that this was one leg up right here and then price fell down to the 380. So if we go and clone that arrow, you can see that's where price started to stall out and then we saw a bigger correction. So we just had two small legs up and that led to a big correction. Now we're about to have two large legs up. So that's gonna lead to even a, a larger correction, most likely. Uh, so again, I'm expecting higher prices short term, uh, just a little bit longer. Uh, more till we see a bigger uh, pullback in the market. And is that the top? Probably not. Uh, probably going to still continue higher from there uh, because I have a, another measurement target that price can hit. Is this one right over here. From the 2020 lows all the way up to the January 2022 highs, that is one large leg. If I clone that leg and I move this over, you can see that the price is attempting to reach the um, 608 level. Um, probably sometime this year. So again, we're probably gonna see um, price reach the 600s in the spider uh, sometime this year. Is it guaranteed? No, it's not, but that's what the chart is telling me. We can even draw a channel from the 2020 lows through the October 2022 lows and then through the um, October 2023 lows also. So October 2022 lows, October 2023 lows from the 2020 March lows, you drag it up to the highs, look what happens. You have a perfect channel uh, that coincides with that mesh move target. So right over here, you can see that top of the channel using the previous high coincides with that mesh move target uh, at the 608, 609, because that's how channels work. Uh, anyway, price hits the top, it goes to the bottom. Price hits the bottom, it goes to the top. So it just keeps on bouncing back and forth. So this is the next logical area, and that's where the mesh move target is also. So again, that's strong... Um, that's a strong factor for price to continue moving up higher. So again, I'm short-term bullish, long-term bullish. Uh, I would say we're approaching an area where we can see a bigger pullback in the market, uh, and then we'll probably see price uh, move down lower, uh, correct? Uh, is it guaranteed we get up here? No, it's not, but that's where it's headed, and I'm not expecting uh, anything else as of right now. So again, it's looking like it just wants to continue pushing up higher. Uh, this market uh, just does not want to you know, go down that much. So again, it's pretty bullish and I'm, I'll be expecting price to continue higher. Uh, so that's all I have for the daily and weekly charts. Uh, if you have any questions, leave in the comments down below. Uh, I'd like to hear your analysis. Uh, just leave in the comments down below. This is V Trades, and thank you for your time. I'll see you guys most likely next week, Sunday.